Hello everyone and welcome to the unveil video for my new 75 gallon fish tank. Now I built this back in late April, early May and I've been letting it cycle ever since. I've recently added all my fish to it including my three emerald quarry cats, two weather loaches, my four golden dojo loaches which is basically the final version of the weather loach my Placo, and I need to order three more Emerald Quarry Cats to go in here. But overall, it's 98% complete. Now, with the stand, it took me forever to build. Well, not forever to actually build, but forever for me to actually get off my lazy butt and get to it. It wasn't that hard. It took about two weeks, and most of that was letting stuff dry and with school and work. It, uh, I got around to it. The only thing that's missing with the stand are the front doors that I'm going to add later, and of course the side panels. We want to keep the back open just to allow uh, more air to come in. And there's really no reason to add a back since all the uh, tubing for the uh, Fluval FX6 canister filter will be coming in and out. And also all the power lines and the air lines coming in and out. There's just no reason to add a back. The stand is made out of two by fours. With the bottom being made out of simple plywood. It's pretty easy. It's a lot cheaper to make your own than to go buy one. It's not perfect, but it's not meant for looks it's meant to hold a lot of weight and I'm pretty sure I can hold a pickup with this stand all the rocks and driftwood in here except this piece which is from a 29 gallon all came from the uh, local waters and over in Arkansas where my parents moved to I made sure all the rocks were uh, sanitized and they didn't have any uh, calcium in them to change the pH levels or any other minerals that would change it for that matter. So no limestone, which Arkansas is notorious for. The wood, it was really dirty when I first got it, but I loved the shape and the quality. Made sure none of it was rotten. So what I did, I pressure wash it, and then I let it soak in a 55 gallon trash can I got specifically for acclimating the driftwood, like releasing tannins and whatnot. I actually soaked it in a bleach water solution for a month before I added it in here. And then once I added it to the tank, the bleach water, it bleach goes away within 24 hours, especially when you're using Prime or Safe or anything else like that. I added it to the water, tested it a couple days later, absolutely no bleach. Of course, there weren't any fish in there at the time. And trust me, the water parameters are absolutely perfect. The only thing that's a little high is nitrate is at five parts per million. Not a big deal. pH is at a uh, good 60, uh, excuse me, 6.4. Water hardness is in between soft and hard. So that's pretty good. Yeah, overall, it's, uh, it's coming along. Moved the duckweed from the cherry shrimp tank into here. And I actually just removed a bunch of it. I'm keeping some because in case anyone wants any, I, I have it. But as you can see, like all of this, this little sherbet container, all of that, like this duckweed, just a little bit of water. Yeah, it's really thick. There's the fish food I'm feeding all these guys and they like it all and sometimes they actually do eat the duckweed and what's really cool are these weather loaches I know golden dojo loaches are also weather loaches but to differentiate my albinos or the golden ones from the normal ones I call these guys the weather loaches okay so don't go yelling at me the weather loaches are actually hand tamed and I got them as adults at the local fish store, like Pets by Steve, and I can feed them by hand. They're awesome. They come up to the top, nibble on my fingers, I can feed them the pellets. And one thing I did do is I added 
that bubble wand in the back to get some more air circulation because without it uh, for some reason the water was just getting too cloudy and the fish weren't getting enough oxygen they were jumping to the, t to the top too often so I added that I don't like adding bubble wands or bubble stones in the tank and I actually need to move that lower to the bottom but you know you do what you gotta do and it's actually not that bad there's a sneak peek of the 75 gallon and I hope y'all enjoyed the video see you later